today we are going to do maths and our topic today is let us observe and understand that means we are going to learn about classification of data when we arrange or group objects in a special way such as by size shape or color etc it means we are sorting or classifying the objects let us learn and understand this in a better way as you can see in the picture this picture is rosie's flower shop and you can see rosie's flower shop has many beautiful flowers look at this bouquet the number of roses in this bouquet shows the data this bouquet has three pink roses four red roses and two yellow roses right so children we have separated the roses into groups based on their colors so we can say the data has been sorted or classified and this is called as classification now let us see one more example now as you can see in the picture children there are many creatures around the pond right so let us see and count the creatures let us begin with, by counting the number of butterflies 1 2 3 4 so children there are six butterflies now let us count the number of turtles so children we have only one turtle Now let us count the number of ducks. One, two, three. So children, there are three ducks. Now we will count the number of frogs in the pond. One, two. So there are two frogs. Now we will be counting the beetle that we see on the leaves. One, two. Three, four, five. So children, there are five beetles. Now let's count the number of crabs. One, two, three, four. So children, there are four crabs. So children, we have classified the data based on the kind of creatures that shows there are six. butterflies three ducks two frogs one turtle four crabs and five beetles now let us solve the exercise given on page number 76 in our maths textbook observe the picture and write the answers so children this picture is of a zoo and you can see there are different animals in the zoo now we will look at this animals and we will answer the questions asked now our first question is which animal is in the least number least number means less in number so which animal can you see less in number yes an elephant our second question is which animal is in the largest number that is largest number means more in number so which animal is more in number children yes monkey our third question is how many lions are there in the zoo come on children count the number of lions 1 2 so there are two lions in the zoo our fourth question is how many deer are there in the zoo Now children come on let's count the number of deer in the zoo 1 2 3 4 so there are four deer in the zoo our next question is which animal has a count of 2 so children which animals are two in number yes lion lion we have only two in the zoo right so children I hope you all have understood classifying and sorting of data. 
you will complete page number 76 in your maths textbook thank you